Hi, Neil here with Covers and Camel, your source for custom seat covers. Really excited for today's install video. It's on a 2019 Ford Ranger. We're gonna be putting on the seat covers and it's the Harvest Moon Camel pattern. It's gonna look sweet inside here. Also equipped with the special ops package on the back and also headrest logos. It'll be a really cool install. So we'll show you all the steps how to put all these covers inside this vehicle. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do is this we're gonna do the driver's seat first here. And the first step you want to do is take the headrest out. So if you've never done this, uh, all you need to do is press the buttons on the side here. And these headrests just pull up like that and out. Okay. And then that's going to allow us to put the backrest section on and we'll just put the headrest out of the way for a second and put the headrest cover out of the way for a second as well. And then this is going to be our backrest cover here. So we're going to get this opened up and I'm gonna double check because one thing there's kind of two there's two ways to install uh, kind of two methods and yeah this this way this one here is gonna be let's see a lot of these have little tags on them that will say driver or passenger sides uh, now if they don't have the tag uh, one thing that you can look for is if you got like a driver or passenger side. Uh, pistol pocket or pistol holster, you can look for those. But the other thing I like to look for is on this Ranger specifically, it's gonna it's gonna get a little bit more narrow uh, on the outside section. So I can see that this one tapers off a little bit more right here. So that's actually gonna be the passenger side. So I'll just set that over there for right now. And then this one's gonna be my driver. You can see how this one doesn't taper as much. It's just a little bit more fabric right there. So that that should be my my driver driver bottom, and we should be good with that. And then what I'll do, I always know the the, the driver and passenger backrest. How you can tell those is the airbag cutout, the blowout section right here is always going to be the outside because the side airbags are positioned on the outside right here. So if they ever needed to deploy, they would blow through these Velcro tabs right there. Okay, so that's how I lined that one up already right there. And on, on this particular set, I'm actually gonna install the bottom first. So uh, this is the backrest, but I'm gonna get that out of the way first, just because this bottom is gonna install and this back piece of Velcro right here is actually gonna work with that backrest. Uh, and so I'm gonna want this secured down first and then we'll put that backrest on and it sticks on and we'll show you how that, how that works. So we're just gonna continue on with this and uh, do the driver bottom section first. I'm gonna loosen up these strings here. These are tied during shipping so they don't slip through. And it is nice too, as you're getting started with this, if you can get a light pair of gloves, like little mechanics gloves, because a few spots during this install get kind of tight and you wanna protect your hands as you're, you're, especially when you're pushing things through right there. So I'm just getting this lined up here, getting the strings ready. I'm not gonna push the strings through yet because I'm gonna get this really lined up, make sure I have it right in the, the correct spot there before I really push anything through. So now what I'm now that I got lined up, now I'm gonna push this through. I don't like pushing it through before, just because once you push it through, it gets a little bit tighter and a little bit harder to uh, to adjust it around. Okay, now that that's pushed through, you're gonna push the, some of the straps. You start start those straps but there is gonna be a, a flap on this one that I need to release the flap. The back side of this driver backrest has this flap right here, okay? So a couple things you could do is there's these elastic straps that are hooked up underneath. So this inside one actually just releases right off, okay? And so I actually just reach underneath, release, pulled that one off. Now you could do the full install and I'm gonna do that today where this I just leave I, I just released that one. That gives me enough space to push through the, the straps right here 
and then be able to get the strings underneath and hook everything up. So I, I'll be fine with that. Now, if you wanted to give yourself a little bit more space, a couple things you could do is this other elastic strap on this other side, uh, there is a little connector that holds the electric uh, cables underneath up to the seat and you could end up popping that down. I, I don't always like to do that because in case if I, uh, you know, break some of the plastic or something, you can't get it back up. So I don't always do that. And my recommendation for you, and if you're watching this video, is just unhook this one right here. And then uh, that's gonna give you enough space to work with and you just get that cover all, you know, push through underneath there. And then, and as you can, you can kind of see a little bit right here. So here's the cover. So I've pulled it kind of through right there. I got my straps through right there. Now what I'm gonna start doing is lining my straps up and there's three straps. There's these two outside straps that go forward to the front up there to buckles. And then this middle strap right here actually has a strap and a buckle. And it's just gonna go underneath, go to a solid bar underneath the seat and then come back to itself and cinch on. And that's gonna keep the seat from ever sliding forward. So I'm gonna start doing that. Again, slide these straps forward. And then this will be the very first one that I'll hook on is this middle strap actually. And I'm just gonna go underneath to like a spring or if you have like a, a metal bar. This particular Ranger has some uh, kind of like a plastic horizontal uh, bar going right there. And that, that should give enough tension to hold that seat cover forward. It doesn't have to be super tight, uh, but it's it's gonna give it a little, it's gonna give it enough strength so that the the cover doesn't slide forward. So I've got that middle strap cinched on now. Okay, so that's nice and nice and tight there. And then I'm gonna take these outside straps and now feed those forward. And then after that, I'll show you the strings here. I've taken this strap from the backside, passed it through underneath the seat here, and it's gonna go to this buckle right here. And now when you're passing this strap through, you wanna try to avoid uh, getting any kind of hard pressure against electric uh, cables or controls underneath there. So just as you're passing it, at, passing it through, you try to pass it through uh, as close to the seat bottom as you can. And so that way when this cinch is up tight, it's not compressing anything. And so when this comes through right here, it's gonna come up to this buckle and I'm gonna go through this middle. You kind of see three slots in that buckle. I'm gonna go through the middle slot right here and then the outside slot right there. And that's just the same for all the buckles. And then you just can cinch that tight. Now, and one little trick as well that I like to do is as I'm cinching this, I like to have one hand right here and kind of compress down. So I'm kind of pulling or pushing down on the seat right here, okay? Because when you're sitting here, you're gonna give a little bit of pressure to it. And I just, I just slowly kind of cinch it down tight right there. And I don't, I don't yank real hard. I just kind of continue just to pull until it gets snug. And so you can see that, because I don't want it to pucker. Like if you pull too tight, then you can see kind of a pucker or a divot. And if you just do it like that, where you're just kind of compressing down and then cinching as you go, you can see how this now just finishes out really nice and looks more like it's like a glove on the seat. So it looks really good. You can see these bolsters. Uh, the design and the production on this is amazing. There's, you know, these separate little cutouts right there just to make sure it really fits onto the seat. Awesome. Okay. Next step is going to be taking these strings right here and passing them through. And so that'll be the, the, the first string that you're going to want to do is this outside one. And I got it. I don't know. I think I rolled over it right here. So there we go. So I'm loose. There it is. So these two strings, so I've seen some customers take them around the outside, around the plastic, and that's not good. What you wanna do is, this one is gonna go in between the seat and the plastic, and this one right here is gonna drop down and then on the side of the seat and come over. I passed this inside string around and then I tied a little noose in it right here. So you can see that and that. So I got this loop right here and then this other side, I've just dropped it down on the side of the seat 
not too difficult for this one. Just drop, just dropped it on kind of right down here and then you cut, cut that corner right there. And then I'm gonna tie these up. Now here's the trick with these strings is you don't have to pull super tight with these strings. It's just to get them the corners snug so that the cover uh, aesthetically looks nice, okay? it's The string really has nothing to do with stability of the cover and kind of staying in place. Um, it's more just to kind of keep the corners looking nice. So I don't I don't yank real hard because if you these strings are right around these corners and a lot of a lot of them are like metal corners. So if you yank real hard and you're just pulling, 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 then you can you you can snap those strings. Now if you do snap a string, let us know. We can help get you a solution. So contact us if that happens. But uh, I don't I don't yank real hard. I get them nice and snug every time and you hardly ever snap them now that I've learned that. So now that that is down, that's really the end of the bottom cover. We're gonna move on to the backrest now. We're gonna do the driver backrest cover now. And this, this is one that I would recommend doing gloves just because you're gonna push your hands in between this spot right here and there is some Velcro down there and it can get a little, uh, little scratchy on your, your hands there. Now, if you have back pockets in your truck, you're gonna wanna make sure you clear out those back pockets before you put the cover on because it's gonna cover any pockets that you have. So pull anything out that, that you have back there. Okay, so this cover's going on here. So, and before I start in uh, securing it down, I like to just make sure I get everything pulled into place and lined up. One thing you're gonna wanna line up is the headrest post right here. And now's a good time for me to do that. And this is where uh, the that little plastic tool, we send you with a white plastic tool, I'll find it here later, but that can help if these are really tight. This one's not too bad actually on this Ranger. They're not huge posts so I can just do it with my hands and that pops around but make sure you pop that around it looks a lot better when you do that uh, and that's that's how it should install okay so now we're gonna get this pulled down you can see how it's just starting to conform to the seat as I get it into place and that's about ready to secure on. I'm just gonna check out the back side before I finish pulling it down and just make sure things are lining up around here. Okay, so that's all, that's all looking really good on the back side there too. So now what we'll do is we'll do this part where we push this through right here and it's a little, it's on a lot of trucks, it's a little tighter, but this one, uh, the Ranger's not too bad actually. So push that through right there. And now what we're gonna, I'll show you on this, this next section here, but that had felt uh, and I, we just pushed that felt through. That was the piece that we just pushed through. And that felt is gonna stick to that Velcro that was sewn on the bottom cover. So there's Velcro hook velcro on this bottom cover and that felt's going to come through and then just stick down right there makes a real simple install for you the older install methods with were a little bit harder than that I'll tell you that much so it's a good design there what i've done now is i've just attached those three velcro pieces on the side for the airbag because they were just lined up just where i needed them so that's good there so now that i've pushed that through i'm actually going to reach around on the other the back side and kind of finish sticking that belt down. So I'm gonna reach underneath this belt right, or this flap right here, kind of finish pulling that belt through right here. And this you can pull pretty good, make sure you get it nice and tight. You want it smooth on the front. Okay, just gonna tuck this out of the way for, for a second. I'm gonna reach now that we're through that part, I'll take these gloves off. So again, I'm just reaching underneath, grabbing this felt that I just pushed through, 
just giving it a nice, nice little pull to make sure that it gets tight on the front side there. It really doesn't have to be super tight. It, it uh, even just giving it a, a nice little snug pull will get it into place. One thing you can do if you're, if you're having troubles getting it tight, you can push on this side with one arm and then reach on the felt, or if you have two people, this is nice too. Maybe you can have them push on the front side there and then pull the felt with this other hand and then pull it down and, and just push it onto that Velcro right there. So that's, that's how you get that felt hooked down right there. That's good there. I'm just gonna check the other side to make sure that it's looking nice and nice and tight right there. It is, it's looking really good right there. So, love this camel pattern. This Harvest Moon is just really blending very well with this truck, all with the grays and blacks inside it. It's nice and I love the camel patterns because they're easy maintenance okay so it's just you, they don't show up the dirt and grime you're not having to wipe it off all the time it, if you get a solid color solid colors you can get the same material and solid color if you want and which is fine but it, it's just gonna show up the dirt a lot more and you're gonna have to clean it off a lot more frequently so this one where it's a camel print again just easy low maintenance now that we have that back felt down, things are looking good there. What we can do is take this back flap right here and just pull this down. And we're gonna pull that tight right there. And then just stick that on right there. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook back up this elastic piece. Okay, you just reach underneath and it was hooked onto, there's a little plastic uh, kind of hook clip underneath there that it just hooks back onto. It's so real easy to do that. So you get coverage here. So if you have people, your, your guys riding in the back, if you get their boots or uh, shoes up, up here and it gets dirty right there, then it's the covers covering that. So where normally that felt gets dirty really fast and mud can stick to that and it's just annoying to clean. Whereas now with the cover over that, that's gonna be super easy to wipe down. It's really not gonna show up because of the camel pattern. Okay, the driver backrest is done now. We're gonna move on to the driver headrest cover. We got the driver back, uh, driver headrest cover here now. And what we're gonna do is put the headrest cover on. This one's super easy to tell because the, this is the front side uh, because the logo's on it already. So if you're ordering these, the logo is optional. Now, we think it looks cool with an a elk uh, or we have an American flag or a a Velcro patch, a two by three Velcro patch where you can put your morale patches on there. Now, if you don't or add that option, then it would come, you know, the front side would be similar to this, where it's just the camo pattern or whatever pattern you choose. So that's that's an option there. But if if you didn't order that and you're wondering, okay, what's my front side, what's my back side? Uh, you know, you kind of line it up and on these Rangers, you can see that this headrest slopes down towards the front right there. So if you hold up the cover, then you can kind of see this, this one towards the back right there, that's a little bit taller and it slopes down towards the front. So that'd be the best way to tell what's, your, what's the front, what's the back. Uh, I have seen people put them on backwards before. It's not the end of the world, but if you have a question on that and you're trying to figure it out, feel free to call us and we can assist with, with that. Okay, so these, uh, pretty simple, uh, but most headrest covers are gonna be kind of tight. So what you're gonna wanna do is hook one side on and then kind of compress down the, the cover itself so that, that way it'll start to go on and then continue just to push down on the cover as it as it goes on. And I just work it side to side. I don't try to get one whole side on first. I just do it little by little. And then I kind of move it around once, it on, once it's on to line it up 
with the lines there a little bit better. So I can see that these lines need to shift over that way. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna move the whole cover like that right there. Okay, already that seemed to line it up a little bit better. Like that. Sweet. Okay, so there's the headrest cover finished out there with the Elk logo. We're gonna install the hard console lid cover now. And this is the cover here. So on these Rangers, it kind of tapers out here towards the front, gives you a little bit more of an armrest right there, which is really nice. I like that. That's, good. That's a nice feature. Uh, so we're gonna get the cover here. So the cover is pretty easy to tell front to back because of that uh, longer kind of tapered front section. So loosen up the Velcro, the Velcro and elastic is how these secure on. And I'm gonna hook that front on right there. There we go. Now these, sometimes these, oh, these uh, Velcro pieces are just really long. So what I recommend is just grab a pair of scissors and just make sure you give yourself enough uh, length, you know, so I'll probably cut this one right here. Just cut off some of the extra so you're not dealing with as much extra Velcro that you don't need. So these two and just like that secures on. You don't have to crank, you don't have to pull real tight on these, okay? The, the lid cover doesn't get as much movement as the seats do. So that's why you don't have like straps to buckles and stuff. It's mostly just this elastic and then these Velcro pieces to keep it, keep it in place. Do the same thing with this bottom one here. Just trim up that Velcro a little bit. Perfect, so those two Velcro pieces are, are on now. And that lid cover, I'm just gonna pull that back side. I need to pull this down just a little bit more. You could tell that it was a little loose back there. Now that should roll over and All right, sometimes you can work out a few wrinkles by just kind of working it around. Um, every now and then, you know, it's, it's, you have to understand it's not new upholstery, so there may be some slight wrinkles just because of the fact that it's a cover. Uh, but if it, that's still, for a cover, that is really nice. Um, I just got one little piece of thread here, and sometimes you'll find that on your covers. You just take your scissors and trim off any kind of loose, loose thread right there. But really like how that finished out. That's an awesome. That's how you install the hard console lid cover there. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is on the passenger seat, you're gonna repeat all those same steps that I taught you for the driver's seat. Same things for that passenger side. We're on the back seat now on this Ranger and good news for you, for your Ranger owners out there because both the back seat and the bottom seat do, this one folds forward and the bottom seat is gonna fold up and Again, you get you can see that folding up right there. And that's gonna make the install a lot easier for you. So if you don't have a Ranger, just go get one because it's easier for the seat cover install, okay? So first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually remove the headrest. Okay, and there's these little buttons here that you can push and remove those. And so you, you wanna take all the headrests out and then we're gonna do this backrest first on this one. I know the front we did, the bottom seats first, but we'll do this. We'll do this backrest first on this one and get that out of the way. And then we'll show you how this armrest section is gonna work. Here's the backrest cover here. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is open these Velcro to felt pieces open like that. And then the other thing that you're gonna wanna do is pass this seat cover. And I've seen this multiple times 
Uh-huh. People have started the install and put it over their seatbelt. Make sure you pull the seatbelt out and over, okay? Because that needs to be like that. And then pull this forward. And then you can start opening this up and pulling the seat cover all over the, the seat section like this. Okay, there's gonna be cutouts on the back for all of the attachment pieces here. So you can see how there's these cutouts so it still can fold up, lock in and everything like that. Good. Then we're gonna pull this down a little bit more over here. Right there. Yeah, it's just awesome. Awesome fitment. Just a great, great looking set on this. Okay, once I have it about this point, now that I've pulled the sides down, I am going to attach on these headrest pieces. And I'm actually gonna grab the white fiber stick tool to show you how to use that for these pieces here. We are now gonna use this here and we're just taking this fiber stick tool here, comes in the, the seat with the seat covers and you just kind of stretch this around. Now, if this material uh, rips on you a little bit, that's okay, not a big deal. Sometimes on real tight ones, on Ram trucks, they're, they're like huge and I have to, have to actually trim the fabric to get them around, but this Ranger's not too bad. But it just helps you work that around those pieces there. And we'll do these ones over here next. And just gets them around, tucks them underneath, and then it looks, man, almost factory, and it's pretty, pretty cool looking when you do that. I've had some people just forget to put these around, and that's sad, because it looks so cool when you get them finished out like that. It's awesome. Then do these. So you, again, you're gonna wanna do it on all six, and You can see some of that blue foam underneath. So all of these have about a half inch of foam backing with all in all the seating areas. So that's how all the truck seat covers are. Side-by-sides don't have the foam backing, but trucks do. So it's again, about a half inch of foam backing. And But when you get them trimmed out like that, you don't see the foam at all. Uh -huh. And perfect. So this next piece here, what we're gonna wanna do is actually, we're gonna wanna pull this armrest out right there, okay? And that's gonna come up and go in like this. There's these Velcro pieces right here. So you're gonna wanna just take that Velcro, reach it underneath right there, just stick it down in here like that. Okay. Same thing on this one. This is this is a little cutout right there that needs to kind of fit in that same area where that this piece comes up and clips in up there so it can still lock in uh, with that piece right there, right there. So that'll, you wanna kinda make sure you have it in that correct area right there. And so don't pull that Velcro down too far. Okay. There we go. Like that. that, that gives you covering so then it doesn't you know, get too messy on the inside right there if you have dirt or crackers or whatever, whatever you, you have back there, okay? And so then that's still gonna fold and function because that needs to clip in up there. I mean, technically you could, you wouldn't have to push it in and clip it all the time if you didn't want to and you just slide this down, but it, this is technically meant to go up and clip inside there. And now that we're at this this part right here, let's actually put the armrest cover on. So this is an armrest slash cup holder 
I call it, and when you're ordering your seat covers, we'll ask you that. Does your rear seat have an armrest uh, slash cup holder section, okay? And that's what these are, so here's the cup holders. Cup holder is gonna have uh, the slot for the, the pull tab. It's gonna have the slot for the attachment piece right there. It's gonna have the, obviously the cutout for the, the cup holders there as well, okay? So get that lined up, and this one will actually pull around and attach to itself so it's gonna be completely covered on all sides. So I'm gonna push that Velcro around. Right there. So I have that Velcro right there, and then I'm gonna take this Velcro and stick it down right there, just like that. So then it's it's completely encased around with the, the seat cover material there. Okay. So then again, that should all hold and function, be able to all be covered right there, and you still have your pull tab right there, so you can pull that out right there. Okay. So now that we got that piece done there, fold those corners in. Okay, so now that we have that piece, we can finish installing the backrest section. I'm gonna take this, put it in a pocket for now. And I'm gonna take these, fold them underneath, or tuck them underneath, push them through to the other side here. These are gonna push through and then attach on to the other Velcro pieces. So you can see how this felt comes through and then you're gonna wanna ma make sure you pull that nice and tight before you attach it on. I'll, I'll go ahead and just pull through the other felt pieces. Multiple different pieces there so that it that way it still allows for all your seat belts and your child seat attachment sections to be accessible. So you push that corner felt through, push this one through now, right here. Okay, so now all the felt pieces have been pushed through, so I can reach over and pull all these up nice and tight. And then start to attach those down. Now one, one thing I like to do is just make sure that everything is pulling nice and tight on this side. So I'll even use this hand like that technique that I was talking about earlier, is kind of holding it there, pushing down. And then now that I know that it's tight on the front side, take this felt to the Velcro right there and stick that down right there. If you follow all these same steps, you're gonna be able to just to get a professional install by yourself at home. Okay, so. You're gonna get your covers to look just like how we show them in the photos. Okay, so that's all stuck down there, good. There's this one right here. Here's this corner piece. Okay, nice. So that, 
That's the backrest section there. Cool. Really excited with how that looks. See everything trims out nice and tight. Looking good. It's an awesome backrest piece. So now we'll do the, the bottom section here. And this was not going to be too bad either because, again, on this particular truck, on the Ford Ranger, the seat just folds up like that, which is awesome for you. So now that we have that up, I'm just going to open up this section, pull this through. What I like to do is take this Velcro and try to fold it around because it's, it's going to start sticking to this felt. As you can see, it's already starting to stick. Uh, so I, I try to fold it around a little bit so that way it doesn't stick too much as I'm pulling it pulling it down. That seat, once you, once you got it up, it does lock. So you may just want to try to not lock it all the way up initially and just kind of have it right there. And if it does lock up, you may just, again, pull it down so it, you can get it in that position to pull the cover down. Okay, so you, you're gonna know pretty quickly if you got it lined up or not, because these cutouts are gonna need to line up in the right spot. Okay, so there's, you see these little slits right here? That's, that's for your pull tabs. So those slits there. I'm gonna go ahead and push these through down as well. Right there. Okay. Now this seat or the original seat has felt on it. So the cover, what the cover's gonna do is it's, we're just gonna take that and stick it right onto the felt, okay? I know that I'm lined up because I see this front edge. Okay, that's lined up good. This is where it needs to be here. This is looking good, so I feel confident that I can stick that Velcro down now, right there. And so, look how cool that is. I mean, you, you get this bottom coverage here. So if you have these seats up and you're riding along and you have some of your go bags or you have your hunting bags in the back here and things are getting dirty, you're not having to wipe down this felt all the time because this felt is just a nightmare to have to clean. You get that muddy, it's gonna be uh, so annoying. So nice that you get almost this entire felt piece covered. I mean, and definitely all of this covered up here. So this Velcro comes up, sticks on right there. Okay, same thing right here. Pulling this, pulling that nice and tight. That should come up right there. Nice, perfect. Good, right there. I think I might give this one just another little tug on the front side right there. There we go. Yeah, I got another, another half inch of slack out doing that so we'll do the same thing right here just take this pull that tight pull that right up onto the felt stick that on that is not a bad install guys so again if you have one of these trucks it's gonna be a nice install for you. It's gonna look good. So, okay, so there's the bottom cover. So that's all installed now. Again, you can see how awesome it looks. Just nice and tight fitting all around the front, the top. Man, looks cool. So there's the, again, you, whoops, I need to, I'll get this locked in here. This piece right here. Oh, there you go, there's your, there's your piece that locks that in right there. 
and then this this guy right here pops out so there's your your armrest so that's all installed right there all we need to do now is the headrest cover Again, thanks for watching. You can see more at coversandcamo.com and see a lot of different vehicles. Now we do most any vehicle. So if you don't see a style that we've done on one of our videos, we most likely already do it and we have the patterns to do it. We just haven't done a video on it yet. So you can still get that order for, for your vehicle and you can do that again at coversandcamo.com. Thank you.